Before we start today's video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for sharing these boomerangs. And here's a few that you guys tagged me in. Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys my photo taking process, which I do hope speeds up your editing time and also helps you take better photos. So I'm gonna to try to add as much value as I possibly can by answering three questions that I feel really tie in well together. So a few questions I get is, how do I edit the colors in my photos and do the models choose the outfit or do I choose the outfit? And how do I decide which location to shoot at? To answer the first question, I do think that a couple of my friends think that the editing process comes easy to me, but that's not always the case. What I do notice that causes me to have trouble with the editing process is when the outfit doesn't match the background in both the theme and the colors. I feel like this is the story part of your photo, which to me means that it's the fun, passion part of the process. What I have noticed in my past experience when I'm shooting an outfit that I'm not too high on or that I don't feel complements the background that well, I do find myself having trouble with the edit because I'm either trying to make the colors pop when maybe initially they weren't meant to be pop because of the way I pair them together. I can still get a decent edit, but it does take me a lot longer to try to figure out how to make those colors pop. So yes, the biggest tip I can give when it comes to making your colors pop is to use an outfit and background that complement each other because this will make your colors naturally pop and save you so much more time in the editing process. So now for the next question, do I choose the outfit or do the models choose the outfit? So for the most part, I do try to provide the outfit when I can. And if you guys have noticed, I do tend to shoot a lot of guy tops, whether it's a shirt or sweater. And then I just start to build off around that with what the model has. And I'm also very lucky because Active lets me use their store and if I see any interesting outfit or piece that I like, I can go ahead and grab that and then shoot it for one of my photos. So what I usually do is look for a piece that catches my eye and then I start to build off around that. So for example, this 90s blue retro active sweater really caught my eye and then I started to get ideas to build off around that. So then I asked the model if she had some black pants, some white shoes and also a white headband to really tie in that 90s look. So once I had the outfit, I now try to look for a location that would match it in both the theme and the colors. And I was super lucky enough to find this 90s retro gas station location that matched both the theme and the colors that I was going for. As I was shooting, what I did notice about the raw images is that they look great straight out of the camera because the outfit and location were paired really good together in both the theme and the colors. Now for the third question, how do I decide which location to shoot at? So I don't always have the outfit set first and then look for a location to match it. Sometimes I'll be driving around and I'll see a sick location that I think would be really good for a photo shoot. So I start building some outfit ideas to complement that location in both the aesthetics and the colors. So for example, I did find this circus liquor location in LA and I thought it'd be a really cool spot to shoot at night. So I started to build off some ideas that would add to that night street vibe and I did like this outfit that I thought had a really sick hip hop aesthetic to it. So I asked my friend Agora if she had a similar outfit to this and then I did end up adding this blue bomber jacket that I thought would complement the location really well. And here's a few photos we got from the shoot. So for a quick recap of today's video, by pairing an outfit and location that really complement each other in both the theme and the colors will really set you off on the right page when it comes to the editing process. And in the editing process, what you will notice is as you start to add contrast, those colors will naturally start to pop. And if you want to add more saturation to those colors, you can always use hue and saturation or the selected color adjustments. I know today was a bit of a different video, but I do hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope I show you my process. It helps you guys with your process and also speeds up your editing time. Before I end today's video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the continued support. It really means a lot. And I hope to catch you guys on the next one. All right, peace.